feels like it's like the ultimate show of respect too. Like even when you're a young boy, you just keep showing everyone respect. You don't want to kind of yeah. do anything wrong or do anything, you know, uh, that would be deemed a, a, as disrespectful, right? Of course. Yeah, exactly. So like I tried to make sure that I'd um, do some, just basically be the same way as Kamatsu and Tanaka. Uh, that's what I got told to do from Farley. Like I said, he was my kind of mentor and just make sure he'd, I was always on the right track if, it seemed like I was maybe getting too relaxed or just, just anything at all. He would always just kind of um, have a word to me and just make sure that I keep on top of stuff. And it likes you, you don't disrespect anyone. Um, a lot of the guys, though, they, because they, being a foreigner over there, they, like the older boys, they can, uh, they relax with you a little bit more. But they just, I think they just don't, they're just not as hard on you as they are on the Japanese guys. Um, so it can be easy to kind of, you know, relax and almost be friendly with him, then you got to remember at the same time, like, hey, no, I'm here to be a be a young boy and stuff, so just make sure I don't uh, don't try, like, uh, don't take it for granted, basically. And that's what, obviously, what Farley would sometimes say to me, you know, where, you know, even if the guys are, like, friendly with you, remember, it's, you know, you're here for work and you're still a young boy and stuff, so, yeah, you just, you know, but, I mean, all the guys are really cool, so as long as you, uh, you know, you're not, you don't mess it up too bad, then um, you'd be a Ryan Simza, not disrespecting anyone. And with the New Japan Dojo, it feels like it's very old school. And do they use like a lot of old school method, methods? Are they I mean are they like hard nosed with you guys most of the time? Um, do you mean kind of training or just in the whole in the whole sense? When you say hard nosed, do you mean like uh, yeah with the training? Yeah, sorry, but when you mean hard hard nosed, what do you mean by that? In terms of they're just like very uh, um, what's the word for it? Like, uh, like not very warm to you, I guess. Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, not just with training. That was kind of in the whole sense. Um, I got told that that when I get there, pretty much I'd be ignored, and um, you know, people, you know, in a sense, they'd just kind of be a dick to me for like at least like the first month or so. Um, it was like a weaning process, and uh, I remember most of the guys, to be honest, I, I didn't really have that too much from anyone. Um, I think it was like a couple guys who you know when you'd you'd say hello to or. And uh, just ignore you, but it was nothing, nothing ever too bad. Um, again, just so long as you were respectful and didn't try to just just take advantage of the fact that you were maybe foreigner or be too relaxed, then you know the guys would be okay to you. But like after about a month and stuff, and the kind of people, well, once they see what you're like as a person and what you're, if you, as long as you train hard, then they'll uh, they'll ease it. They'll go, okay, this guy's okay, and so they'll. Um, be, a bit more, be a bit more comfortable and warmer to you. Now, is it a lot of you know paying your dues? They kind of make you, like you said, they kind of made you do stuff from the ground up. Is that really what they're going for? Like they they want you to really, really pay your dues over there? Yeah, definitely. And I'm a firm, very strong believer of that as well. I support that because there's too many people. Um, it happened over there as well when they have people have it. Oh, one second. On my phone. When uh, when people have it too easy, they you know they take it all for granted and then they don't act how they should. Um, and so that that method of having to pay your dues over there that prevents that. You know all the guys that get sent away on excursion um, or go to do other shows and stuff. You know no one ever complains about them. Guys like Tano Kumatsu, Hiromu Takahashi, uh, Watanabe, or Evil, however you want to refer to him. Guys like that who have worked over in ROH or CMLL or over in England, no one, you know, no one ever has a problem with them because they they know how they should act because they've been brought up the right way. Um, and also in New Japan, when you talk about paying your dues, that's what when you once you kind of graduate, young boy, you know, you're like everyone just you get so much respect for those guys who've been through that same process. So because all the older guys here have done it themselves. Um, so if you make it through that and pay your dues like they should, they respect you a whole lot more as well. Um, and I think it's also, that might be why I think New Japan is so respected all over the world is because of people know what it's like, like they've heard about what it's like to be brought up as a Japanese young boy and, you know, you get slapped around sometimes and things like that. And, um, so if you make it through that, you know, you're obviously, uh, worthy of respect that you get. That is absolutely correct. I mean, if anybody goes through there like you did, you always get extra respect, especially from like smart yeah. fans. They almost give you a, an extra load of respect. It's like, wow, you made it through that dojo. You know, there it's like yeah. almost like a military camp, uh, so to speak. 
Yeah, that is a good way to describe it, yeah. And you talk about the respect from the fans. Um, I think you're completely right. I feel like I kind of had that reaction when I did the first Rev Pro show for Your Call earlier this year. It was in August. Um, I didn't expect them to, to know me or I didn't expect them to to uh, cheer me or anything. I just kind of expected, you know, relatively kind of quiet. But as I came out, I think the whole crowd was just, just clapping. I think a lot of them, to be honest, stood up and, you know, you could – you could say that that could be down to the fact that I have, whether they know me or not, they know that I've come up through New Japan, um, so they do have the respect for that company and any of their guys. It's definitely different. It's it's it's, and it's really cool. It's almost like a badge of honor. It's like I came through the New Japan dojo. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that's completely right. 